Addiction is so powerful that it is able to break two of the strongest instincts in humans and animals. Doesn't sound very nice. One, the bond between a parent and a child. Let's hear about this. As civilized people, it's important for us to believe that a parent will do anything in their power for their child. A mother would definitely step in front of a hungry lion to protect her infant. Makes sense. We hear stories of women who suddenly have amazing strength to lift a car off their child to save them. A father would kill any intruder trying to harm his kids. I would. The same mother and father would give their last bit of food to help their child survive. Well, first. addiction can take this precious instinct and shatter it like a cheap Walmart vase. People severely addicted can forget to care about their child physically and emotionally. Why are you so high? Getting and using drugs becomes more important than protecting and feeding their own kid. You're embarrassing yourself. Full-fledged addicts can disappear from their families for days, weeks, and even years. I'll be back in a little bit, says huh. the parent. Right. Yeah, don't count on it. What's These wrong? children can end up hungry, terrified, and abandoned. But even worse, they can become sexually abused, physically abused, and beaten senseless. This may continue until the parent gets locked up, the parent gets sober, or social services takes control. These children are never the same. Never. They will most likely either become an addict or seek out companionship or relationships with addicts. That's not fair. A side note, addiction doesn't give a damn about children. It eats them alive and spits them out in little pieces. Remember this. With regards to addiction, we need more fucking heroes. We need more people to look Mr. Addiction right in the eyes and say, stay, stay the, the fuck, fuck away from me and my family. Right? Children of alcoholics and addicts are 400% more likely to become alcoholics and addicts. They are at greater risk for dropout. They do worse in school, are at greater risk for physical and mental problems, have higher levels of anxiety, have higher levels of depression, Want to keep just getting high? Yeah, well, you know what? Just picture yourself handing your naked child to Mr. Addiction on a bright, shiny silver platter. Now, that's a powerful and accurate visual. Look at your kid. Can you please, please, please be a hero? Two, the survival instinct. We believe there is nothing stronger than the instinct to survive another day. That's how humans are wired. Put people in a concentration camp, they'll stay alive by doing whatever is necessary. Stealing, eating insects, you name it. Sailors have survived being stranded at sea for days by eating fellow sailors. When they get back to shore, no one even charges them with a crime. Put someone face to face with death, and they won't go down without a fight. I don't want to well, Addiction doesn't give a damn about someone's survival instinct. What? It also makes an act not give a damn about themselves. No. When it wants to be fed, you can forget any other priority, including the human drive to live. Desperate addicts will prioritize drugs over food and health. Malnutrition, open sores, liver failure, and other disease may so ravage sick. their bodies. But there is no time or money to see a doctor. The survival instinct is completely replaced by the get more drugs instinct. More One study of cocaine gave a monkey the option to choose between food or an intravenous cocaine injection. Monkey. The monkey would continuously press the lever for the cocaine injection until he died of either starvation or an overdose. Monkey, Don't think less of the monkey, think more of the drug. Rick James said it well, cocaine is a hell of a drug. But it's not just cocaine. Oh, it the real world shows us all types of examples well, all types of different drugs doing the same types of damage, including the king of all killers, alcohol. Really? This applies to the streets. Some addicts and alcoholics who clearly understand that they will die if they keep using drugs will die because they keep choosing drugs over living. Addiction is so vicious, it will make you wish you were dead. In brief... Addiction doesn't give a shit about you or your sissy intentions to survive. Addiction has continued for thousands of years because it is seductive and cunning. You must give it proper and due respect. It creeps up real slow so you don't see it coming. It backs down a bit when you yell at it, but then it comes out back even stronger, making the user do more things to do more drug things. It just keeps pushing and teasing until everything in your life is a mess. Man, I'm in trouble with this shit. 
tears. I just can't stop. Please choose sobriety over addiction.